May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Here, take a look at this for details. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Linley, would you mind taking care of the customer, please? No problem. You want a drink? Right away, my lord. If there are 500 steps to each marker, then maybe... Ah, this is pointless. Taraki cannot rely on shortcuts. Yes, perhaps you can. There is something foul afoot, friend. Taraki can smell the stench of betrayal in the air. Then hold your nose and open your eyes. Where one sense fails, the other may see the truth. There are many rumors here in Iverstead of ghosts and haunted barrows. Darky wonders what is the real danger. The spirits or the gossip? Taraki who scout the game. Hmm? Taraki talks of the steps to High Rothgar. Many travelers come to walk the pilgrimage of the 7,000 steps. Yet Taraki finds that number peculiar. Do you not find it odd that the number is so round? Was the path altered to match the myth? Are the steps not all the same size? I have found it difficult to believe, based on my calculations, that there can be any more than 6,972 steps. Many think this way. They choose to believe something based on faith. Taraki did the same once. He will not make that mistake again. The steps must be counted one by one. It is the only way anyone can be sure. It is about trust. You see, Taraki did not come to Skyrim alone. His childhood friend Adanya was by his side. Adanya had heard Khajiit caravans were thriving here. She begged Taraki to come with her. Adanya had promised Taraki that she would never leave his side. She vowed that she would never leave him alone in this cold, terrible place. But that was a lie. 
We had come through the gate to the south from Cyrodiil. We followed the road north when we were ambushed Pardon by bandits. Me, my lord. Would you care to hear there me play my so lute? so many of them. Araki did not know what to do. That is when Ananya did a terrible thing. She pushed Taraki into the trees, threw herself at the bandits, and... Taraki... He, he saw her die. And all he could do, all he did, was run. No, she lied to Daraki. She broke her promise, and now... Now he knows better. He will not fall for the lie a second time. Sugar and sands. Really? This is most fortuitous. Daraki had almost given up all hope. But do not rush. Your Take your time and return when you have an answer. I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. Mm -hmm. This is a good place to hide one's identity, no? Iverstead attracts those who cling to lofty ideals. They never suspect our faces are too. Taraki is wondering if the Greybeards even exist. No one has ever seen them. Not even Klimek. Perhaps his packages are taken by the rats. Do not give your trust blindly, stranger. It will come back to bite you. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. These damn bears are driving me crazy!
It's a fine day with you around. <laughs> 